Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the latest from Most Generator, Time Wounds, out December 16th on Music Abuse Records. This album has six tracks, 44 minutes in length, and this is the band's ninth full length studio album. They are an American heavy rock band. I want to start off by saying that I'm not a fan of the design of this album. It feels very vague. It doesn't define itself. It doesn't give you a path. It doesn't give you a journey. It doesn't create an avenue for you to navigate through. When you have an album like this, the individuality of the songs, the quality of those songs, sometimes is not enough to connect the record, to connect the tracks, and allow the experience to be engaging and to be fluid. And this album is definitely not either of those. It's a record that you can walk away from it, come back to it again, disconnect, reconnect, and nothing was missed. Or at least you have the perception that you didn't really miss anything at all. You don't want any record to have this ability. You want the listener to lose themselves in the sound experience and the overall atmosphere of the album, but you want the listener to still be within the record, not miles away from it. As far as the sound goes, I love the warmth, I love the texture and the feeling of simplicity. This is not necessarily a simple record, but it offers that perception, at least in how the sound comes together and how it travels within songs and how it travels from moments that songs offer that are very different from one another. There is some chaos in this record, but chaos that somehow feels like it's controlled and feels like it's there in order to create diversity. One of the main elements of the sound of this album are the guitars. The guitar sound is outstanding, the execution even better. This is an album that drives on the back of the guitars. You're going to get a little bit of everything from, from the acoustic side to the more fuzzy sound to the more doom elements and even psychedelic rock. There's a little bit of there for you to digest on, this, on these songs throughout this entire record, not just from song to song, but within tracks themselves. And that's what creates some of that chaos because sometimes you start a track with an acoustic feel that strips down the mood of the song. Next thing you know, there's fuzziness coming in, there's a little bit of darkness coming in, the perception of the track changes, the mood of the track changes, and then the song finishes off with those same acoustic uh, elements that allow the track to become full circle. This is a really interesting format because you're creating chaos in the nucleus of the track and then simplicity around it. I like it. What I don't like is that the format is used a few times throughout the album. And that's why you're able to disconnect and reconnect and feel like nothing was really missed. It's this sense of repetition that it's not good on any album, specifically when it's defined by the overall design of the individual songs. The other elements of the sound are great, but they're not as impactful as the guitars are. And I'm speaking of the drums and bass. The bass has its days throughout this album, sometimes more subdued, but when it pops into the forefront, adds darkness and it changes the overall atmosphere of the songs. The drums are more controlled, they're more of a layer throughout the entire record. Obviously when the songs become a little bit heavier, when that chaos exists within the nucleus of the tracks, you feel them a little bit more, but that format also stays very balanced from start to end. This is all about the guitars. This album is all about the guitar sound. That's what's gonna drive the experience and that's what's gonna connect with the listener. One of the other great elements of this record outside of the guitars is the vocals. I love the vocal performance because it matched the songs. It matched the intensity, it matched the overall atmosphere, it matched the vibe, it matched the essence of the tracks themselves. And this is really important to know how to get the most out of each and every single song, how to control some of that chaos. And I felt like some of that chaos was definitely controlled by the vocal approach and by the vocal performance. It was definitely one of the highlights of the album. One of the things that connected or tried to connect these songs in the best way possible. So a great performance, a performance that outshines a lot of the things around it and gives a positive spin on how these songs come across. The vocals and guitars are outstanding, but two elements that alone are not enough to make this album work. I enjoyed a lot of the songs on this record. I enjoyed what they offered. I just felt that some of the repetition in the overall format and design and the lack of purpose as far as the overall construction of the album really hurt the fluidity and really hurt the playability and the enjoyment of going from first to last. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I want to start off with Don't Wait Until Tomorrow. The acoustic guitar opening uh, gives this track that warmth of sound, which is really important, but it also gives it a stripped down effect, allowing the vocals to come in a little bit more, to have more of an impact, and that to that overall warmth of sound, adding layers and texture to the overall experience. 
it's nice to see the chaos coming in the song becomes a little bit heavier and then when you look back that opening portion of the track almost feels like a Beatles song and then things got a lot heavier they lot of they got a lot grimier but then the track at the end comes back to that original formula and there's a sense of going full circle it allows the the chaos that exists within the song to feel a little bit more connected with the overall experience it's almost like you're you having this moment this introspective moment then you have this outburst and then you're back to think about that outburst think about everything that just happened but once again more in an introspective side so it's an it's a song that has an incredible peak that's that's really the nucleus of the song and then two very deep valleys one on each end next we have burn away the years a calm guitar driven song there is some fuzz there is some texture but the overall sound of this track doesn't really move and it doesn't feel like it changes it keeps everything very slow very steady but it doesn't take anything away from the track itself because the track is not about the movement but rather about the layers and texture and the sound experience that it offers some psychedelic elements that are coming through more so from the keys than the guitars i really enjoy the keys on this track because they took uh, the the driver's seat while most of this album is driven by the guitars this song you're getting it from the keyboards they're creating the atmosphere they're creating the sound they're creating the melodies the guitars are coming in they're absorbing themselves in into that keyboard sound but the keyboard sound is definitely what's in the forefront and it's definitely what's igniting and connecting the experience of the listener there are different movements within the song there are different igniters throughout the track the track doesn't have a steady flow throughout but it's an interesting song because as it starts is as it finishes following the same format the same construction as don't wait until tomorrow last but not least my favorite song on the album this is the last track on the record until we meet again and the reason why this is my favorite song is because it felt a little bit more together it felt more mature it felt like it had more of a vision it had more of an idea where it wanted to go and because of that i wasn't willing to disconnect from it because i wanted to see that vision and i wanted to see that journey all the way through from beginning to end it's also a song that brings some sludge elements but also some doom elements so the atmosphere of this track is better defined from start to end it's a song that builds that constructs it's not just chaos there's like i said a sense of purpose from beginning to end the bass on this track is also phenomenal i don't think you can have that darker atmosphere that the track has without the bass popping as much as it does and because of that it changed the dynamic of the track and it also makes the track feel very different from everything that you heard up until this point this track really stands out in the crowd as far as the sound as far as the atmosphere as far as the execution and as far as the direction that it has i love this song i wish the album had more songs like this not necessarily from a soundscape point of view but more from an overall design and perspective this is it most generator time wounds out december 16th on music abuse records let me know your thoughts on the band on the singles use the comment section below i'll be reading those and getting back to you take care guys